Welcome to highlights and commentary on the men's first last league game of the season against old rivals and friends North Crawley. North Crawley got off to a good start despite the strong opening spells from Josh and Stu. Whilst there were some wicket-taking opportunities, the North Crawley openers started to play a few shots. But the inevitable happened and Stu took a wicket, with Pat taking a catch in the deep and thus avoiding a keeping double teapot and stare. However, the teapot did arrive for the following demonstration that even three people backing up and two observers aren't sometimes enough. With the score on 60 for 1, Niall was introduced. With the batter offering to use his feet more, he was enticed into a full shot caught by Ian. <laughs> Meanwhile, Din continued to accumulate runs here and there, carrying on his recent good form. But his partner soon fell to Niall in an almost identical fashion to his predecessor. and Drinks brought another wicket with a snick behind. Yay! North Crawley then started to implode with a double whammy of struggling to score runs and wickets falling regularly as only suffocated, squeezed and sucked out their eyeballs. Thanks to Ollie for this illuminating and eloquent analysis. Then, in a slightly dramatic moment, Hamish got his chest behind the ball as he misfielded, and Jack demonstrated he had learned from the earlier overthrow that it's very important you always get something behind the ball when it's thrown in, but maybe not this something. Pat continued the tight bowling, as Ian's spell of 2 for 16 off 8 overs came to an end. Hamish was brought on as Din nudged a single to go to an excellent 50. But Hamish then got his man as North Crawley went to 7 down. Stu then cleaned up two more wickets as North Crawley ended on 139 for nine. Hamish returned to opening duties alongside Dan. It was quickly apparent that they'd settled into the chase well, with runs coming steadily as they maintained the score ahead of the required rate. Playing some excellent shots, they soon passed 50 with a hard run three.
with the score on 78, Hamish fell for 36. Chatty picked up the baton and then used it to send the ball over mid-wicket. The fours were coming freely and then Dan picked up a two to go to 50 and top of the Division 1 batting table. Which just left Chatty to knock the winning runs with a soft run three. A good all-round team performance to establish a top three position for the season. Thanks to Garrett and Allen for their match day sponsorship along with Oni RFC. Good luck to them for their upcoming season.